Hey, Esther. I'm excited to be here and be your friend. What's your favorite thing to do with your sister? Play. Yeah. Smooch her. Tell me about how amazing your daughter is. Well, pretty amazing. Um, so I call her the quiet queen just because she is quiet, but that doesn't mean she doesn't have a lot to say. She says a lot through her smiles, her eyes, her hands. Um, she's got a really big personality and she's very silly and smart and loves being with people, just loves adventure. So there's a, yeah, there's a lot to her. If somebody wants to form a positive bond with Esther, how can they do that? Just by talking with her and um, especially reading books. You love books, don't you? And I know that you love books. And we have one of your favorites. The book with no pictures. Do you love your brother and sister? How does it feel when you love somebody? We hug them. Does your sister like when she gets hugs? Yes. What's your favorite thing about being Esther's dad? Mm. Getting to be with her and play things with her and read stories with her and see her smile and her joy come out. This is a book with no pictures. And look, there's no pictures! Where do the pictures go? This is kind of silly. It might seem like no fun to have someone read you a book with no pictures. What is Rett syndrome? So it's a rare genetic condition where there's a protein that's not being produced by the MECP2 gene, which is on an X chromosome, and that gene just spontaneously mutates. They don't know why, it's just, um, for us, it's no rhyme, no reason, it just happened. But with that mutation, that gene doesn't pr produce a protein that's needed to communicate from your brain to the rest of your body. So that affects communication, it affects um, breathing, motor control, um, pretty much, yeah, everything that requires a direct uh, connection between your brain and your body. Is there anything special about your sister? She's sweet. Yeah. What's it like to have a sister who's sweet? Fun. Fun. Is this something that presents near birth, or does a child develop typically and then it shows? It's so the, the actual mutation would happen uh, before birth, but it usually shows up after birth. There's things look normal and then there's a regression of skills. And uh... So for us, we notice things pretty early on. It can be anywhere from six to 18 months. Sometimes I've heard up to three years, but for us, it was um, pretty early on around four months. We noticed that she wasn't really trying to push up at all or crawl and we just thought well she's always been a pretty chill baby um, ever since birth she was just the sweetest little china doll of a baby and um, her older brother was a little delayed in things so we just thought well she's similar in that and everything else looked great so we didn't weren't too concerned but by six months you know we were still not seeing any progress with trying to crawl and move and then it's probably around like nine months where she started losing a few skills. Um, mo the thing I noticed the most was she used to grab at a hand towel in the bathtub and she used to like really wring that, but she stopped grasping. It probably seems boring and serious, except, except, let's see what they're gonna say. Here is how books work. Everything the words say, the person reading the book has to say. That's the deal. That's the rule. So that means even if the words say, oh my gosh, am I gonna have to say something silly? Blork! Wait, what? That doesn't even mean anything. Blurf! Tell me about the ways that Esther communicates. Yes, yeah, so she does have an eye gaze device. We call it Iris because it's with her eyes and she can select um, different words. She's been using it a lot, especially at school. 
Um, at home, we usually um, give her either choices with her hands. Um, she can say a few words like all done, or she can say bear for a bear cup that she drinks out of. We also have these switches where she can, you can pre-record some answers and she can choose the answer based on what you have recorded. So right now we just have yes, no. Something for people interacting with Esther is knowing that there is often a delay and she understands really well. It's just hard to get the response back out. So um, waiting, like it's very common that you need to wait 40 seconds to a minute for an answer um, and that can feel odd if you're not used mm -hmm. to doing it. But then uh, when we wait, often the answer does go. I'm not sure if she's up for showing off or not, but we can try to answer some questions, Esther, so you can talk about yourself. Esther, I have a question for you. Okay. Do you love your family? Mm, we've got a... No. Or, yes. So this one's yes. This one's no, and I know the answer. Yeah, there's a lot going on, isn't there? But we know the answer. Yes! <laughs> Good job. Can it sometimes be overstimulating? Um, yeah, I think so. But at the same time, I think she's also just kind of figuring, figuring you out and taking everything in, because that's one of the things yes. we've... Yes, there you go. I know you love us. Yes! <laughs> Good job, Esther. It's one of the things her teachers have said at school is that it's clear that she is all there, all present, even if she might put her head down for a rest, she's taking in what's going on. How severely does Rett syndrome <clears throat> impact Esther's life? Very, uh, very severely. I mean, it affects every part of her life because, um, you know, you just me lifting my arm, I don't have to think about it, I just do it, but for Esther, um, she has to really process each step of that, um, that decision to move her arm. So if, when we're asking her questions or like reaching for the switch, you know, she has to think through it a lot more than um, you or I would because that gene isn't working like the way it's supposed to. What is it like to be Esther's grandparents? It's wonderful. It's so good to see her continue to grow and, and she smiles. We talked about that smile, how she lights up a room and it just melts my heart. Esther, I've noticed you have a huge big smile since your grandparents sat beside you and I <laughs> love that because grandparents are the best. Do you often see that big smile? Yes. 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 It keeps us going. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think when you see her have that reaction to you being nearby? Oh. It's, it's just a delight. It, it just warms my heart and, and um, it, she just, yeah, it's, it's sincere. She's authentic. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I just try and love Esther and have fun with her. She's my granddaughter, just like the other two. A grandson and another granddaughter. What is your favorite thing to do with her? I think hold her in that rocking chair and just sing to her um, and rock her or just tell her funny stories. Tell her jokes. She loves to laugh at jokes. I am a monkey who taught myself to read. Ooh, ah, ooh, ah. Hey, I'm not a monkey. And now I am reading you this book with my monkey mouth and my monkey voice. Also, I am a robot monkey. What? Now I'm a robot monkey. That's so silly. And my head is made of blueberry pizza. If you want to make your sister laugh, what do you do? Joke her. Did your sister laugh when she heard the joke? Uh, well I didn't hear her say that, but she did, but she was in the car with us. Yeah, her older brother can be very silly, and we're seeing more of that um, kind of humor coming out in Esther, too. One story I like to tell from uh, whenever we have parent-teacher conferences is I like to ask, what's, uh, what's a fun story you have about Esther during the day? And one of my favorite recent stories is that um, with her, I think it was with her eye gaze device, 
um, her teacher was asking her a question that she knew Esther knew. She knew Esther knew the question, but she had to ask it for um, some kind of uh, some kind of testing or something. But um, she said Esther knew the answer. The teacher knew she knew the answer, but Esther looked at the wrong answer and giggled, <laughs> knowing that you were being silly. And that's exactly something that Isaac would do, her older brother. Wait a second. Is this whole book a trick? Can I stop reading, please? No! What are they gonna make me say next? I can't even imagine the goofy things. And now it's time for me to sing you my favorite song. A song? Do I really have to sing a? Glug, 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 my face is a bug. I eat ants for breakfast. What is the most important way to be supportive of a grandchild who has Rett syndrome? Mm -hmm. I think just being available, being willing to, to spend time with her when we can and, and uh, just continue to work with her as much as we can to see her grow and develop. I think um, I agree with that and I also think I'm always telling her, I will whisper to her and I'll look at her uh, eye to eye and say, you are wonderful. You are awesome. You are made by God. You're feisty. Keep being feisty. You're beautiful. And I just affirm who she is. Yeah. How does she react to that? She listens. Um, it's different at different times. Sometimes she just listens intently. I feel like her eyes say a lot to us. Uh, I feel like I'm heard. And I, but a lot of times it's the same response of, giggling or uh, sometimes she reaches out and plays with my hair kind of like when she hugs her dad so we take it don't we mm -hmm. it's special what is the most important lesson you hope to teach esther how how valuable she is and how much she is loved Yay. yeah because you are i think she is very special special to our family, special to our friends, special to our teachers, um, very special to God. I, I want that to be the main thing that she um, just knows deep down. I love that big smile and giggle you had, mm -hmm. Esther, when your mom talked about how loved you are. Yeah, that's that usually is one of the things that gets a big reaction is talking about how much we love you and be, like being with you. My only friend in the whole world is a hippo named Boo Boo Bot. That's a funny name, Boo Boo Butt. And also, the kid I'm reading this book to is the best kid ever in the history of the entire world. Do you hear that? You're the best kid ever. And this kid is the smartest kid too because this kid chose this book even though it had no pictures. Because kids know, this is the book that makes grown-ups have to say silly things! Like boo-boo butt. Olivia, how do you know Esther? I first met her here. Are you two neighbors? Mm -hmm. Yes. What did you think the first time you met Esther? Um, happy, excited, and loving. Tell me about her relationship with Olivia. So that's fu that was a fun thing. We Both our families moved... Uh, moved in here around the same time, so they've literally grown up together. I want to say it was when Livy and Isaac were around four that we, they started playing pretty hardcore, <laughs> and they, they've just literally grown up together. Um, she's very comfortable around Esther. She's uh, clearly has a very nurturing instinct. Do you spend a lot of time with Esther? Sometimes. What do you two do together? Um, like, we play sometimes board games, like shoots and ladders, trouble, sorry. When you first met Esther, did you know how to be her friend right away, or did somebody teach you? Um, knew how to do it right away. How did you do it? So I just asked her with my two hands, do you want to be a friend? Yes, this hand, no, this hand, and she would choose, and she chose yes. Is there anything you hope other people understand about Esther? She loves other children coming into play and, and that she, um, there's no one she won't be a friend to or play with. Esther, do you love being friends with Olivia? I think that's a yes. How can you tell? 
Because she smiles at me. Please don't ever make me read this book again. It is so silly. This is a silly book. In fact, it is completely and utterly preposterous. Next time, please, 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 please choose a book with pictures. Please? Because this is just too ridiculous to read. It's a ridiculous book. The end. Bonk. I didn't want to say that. That was a funny book. If there's another dad who just learned that their child will have Rett syndrome, what advice would you give them? Um, remember that whoever it is, is going to be smart and, um, and a, a fully a person and to just love them well. What is the most important thing you want others to understand about Esther? That she's smart, that she understands that she wants to be included, and that she is capable of so much. Do you ever tell your friends about your sister? Yes. What do you say? I love her. Yeah. Awesome. Well, I have to say that all three of you have done absolutely amazing in this interview. Is there anything else you would like to say? Yes. What would you like to say? You can say anything in the world. Um, I want to say what stuffies I like. What stuffies do you like? I like my stuffy Abbott because I named her Abbott because she's black and white. That's a really good name for a stuffy. Yeah. Why do you like that stuffy the most? Because it's a kitty and I like kitties. Also, I like monkeys too. <laughs>